Why hello you amazing beautiful people and welcome back to another reaction video. So ages ago I did a reaction to Calliope Mori and uh, Zutu Mayo. Um, they did like a song together or something. I did a reaction to that a while ago when it first came out. But literally since that video, everybody has been asking that I do more reactions to Zutu Mayo. Now, I don't know anything about Zutu Mayo. I don't know anything about the music, nothing. And you can see on the channel, we've only ever done one video, and that was a Calliope Mori one. So this is very new to me, but I've been receiving tons of recommendations to check out some of their music. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. This song is the number one most recommended one, and that is a Bio, Bio Shin, Bio Shin Wu Kamu. Is that how I say it? So yeah, let's check it out. Make sure you put more recommendations down below in that comment section. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more. And well, let's jump into my first time ever reaction to the highly requested Zutu Mayo. You all know I'm a big sucker for a good bass opening. It was midnight all the time. Really loving how with the instrumental we have this heavy bass and piano sort of like lead on the instrumental, especially this part of the song in particular. The bass is really like taking center stage with the instrumental, which I love. But now we're going into like this piano riff. Really love the soft vocals. Kind of reminds me of the same singer that did the um, the Formula Alchemist Brotherhood opening that I love. Same sort of like really smooth, like low tone, soft vocals. Really nicely done, like really calming and beautiful, very jazz infused vocal. Very mellow, very soft. The animation is really interesting as well. The song itself has like an anime opening kind of feel to it. Like this part in particular, like feels like it could be the wrap up of a one minute and 30 second long anime opening. Especially because the time matches to it as well. I was curious to see what this vocalist was going to be like. What their voice was going to be like. What their sound was going to be like. And, uh, and if we were going to get these sort of soft mellow tones the entire way through that song. And then on the chorus, we got some beautiful freaking high notes. Really, really nice high notes. I feel like mainly this song has a really nice mellow nature to it, but I'm absolutely falling in love with the vocals. I love it. It's so mellow, so calming, and the jazz star instrumental is just beautiful to listen to. The instrumental is incredible. This is a fantastic fucking song. Such a bizarre illustrated music video as well. This part is awesome, by the way. The vocal work here is lovely. I'm getting lost in the illustration as well. I don't really know if there's a story behind this video. Who is the, um, there was another singer. It might be Zuta Mayo, but there was someone, I remember a while ago, someone recommended I react to another singer. It, it, was it Evie? Eve? Or, 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 I feel like it wasn't Eve. I feel like it was someone else as well. Although I know people want me to react to more Eve stuff. 
Um, who was it? Well, where where like the music videos are supposed to be connected? You're supposed to watch them in a certain order. It might be Zutomeo, maybe, maybe. I can tell you right now, if all the music is like this, I'm gonna fall in love with this singer very quickly. I love their vocals. This part is amazing. Like the way this part is formatted. And there's those high notes! I don't want your apologies because I don't need empty words. Oh, the bass is so nice on this song, man! This is excellent. This is such an incredibly well orchestrated, arranged, and formatted song. Fantastically so. Like, massively so. The guitar work is wonderful. The bass has been excellent. The piano has been stunning. The vocals are fucking fantastic, incredible, stunning freaking vocals. Brilliant high notes, beautiful soft tones. And we've just had this perfectly, perfectly illustrated to match music video, which goes with every single lyric as well, which is very intelligently done too. Very heavy and very important lyrics as well. Overall, an absolutely excellent damn song. Weirdly creepy and bizarre. Very artistic as well. Amazing guitar solo. Kinda makes me feel like, uh, it gives me Madoka Magical vibes. Like one of the witches. That last supper. The guy down there, that one guy down there, <laughs> that's who translated the lyrics. Wait, let's give it, let's make sure we get drums, uh, Nozumo, Nozumo, Nozumu. Uh, Sakurai on the bass, uh, Katsushiro, Katsushiro on the guitar, and Neo on the piano. And the animation was why Wabaku. Honestly, that might be one of the most perfectly formatted songs I've reacted to. And I really mean that. Like, I, I really do. Obviously, I'm not losing my mind over here and going crazy at this song because it's not the kind of song that I should be like flipping my chair over and going nuts, right? It's just a really good song. It, like a very, very good song. When I say that this song is one of the most perfectly formatted songs I've reacted to, I truly mean it. And what I mean by that, going into more detail, is the song itself has been arranged masterfully. Everything about it is so well put together that it just creates this wonderful freaking i don't even know i, I want because I, I want to i want to put the music video and song in there just piece of work right so we have this fantastic bass opening that leads us into the piano riff we have this beautiful smooth soft vocals that goes into a high note vocal chorus where the guitar becomes more heavy meanwhile the piano is just maintaining its pacing throughout the whole song almost working as a drum kit to keep that beat which is really interesting too. I really love it when you feel like a singer is more doing a duet with the instruments rather than just singing over the instruments. And I definitely got that from Zuta Mayo. Um, then what I absolutely freaking love with the guitar solo, the artistic illustration that was that was like put together for this music video matched every single lyric so beautifully as well. And all of that just came together and it felt like a proper love project. 
a project that had taken months to put together to create this absolute flawless piece of work. Well, you have this stunning song where everything fits, everything links, everything goes so nicely together. The lyrics, the vocals, the instrumental, all just clicking and balancing and perfectly going into each other. After the second chorus, we go into that beautiful freaking drop just after that guitar solo as well. And then it slows down and we get like to highlight Zutameo's vocals. This was stunning. This was so well put together, amazingly composed. This is a fantastic song for a first time impression of Zutameo. If the rest of the music is going to be this perfect, this well put together, I'm going to fall in love with this artist quickly. This was fantastic. Absolutely flawless, in my opinion. I cannot wait to check out another song. I, I got to know more about them. I got to hear more. Let me know. Would you guys like more Zutameo reactions? I would, I would love to do more. Put your recommendation in the comment section down below. Let me know if there's any other Japanese artists out there I'm yet to react to that you'd love to see reactions to on this channel as well. Put them down below in that comment section too. I really hope you all enjoyed this reaction. And if you did, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.